Hey there, YouTube. I'm Yukitsu. This is Yukitsu Times. Welcome to, our, uh, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to a little bit of Total War Warhammer 2, where I'm going to be being a bit of an ass to these people of Safari because they've decided to make the glorious mistake of recruiting a new general outside of the city. Letting me attack them and not the city itself. Fantastic. Look at this. Now, the problem here is going to be that they are going to be reinforcing from, like, behind me and to the right, and that they have got, like, three separate stacks here, which is going to be a little bit annoying. It's saying that they've actually got a much better chance of winning than I do, but I highly doubt that. Um, only seeing about five units of total archers here. Two generals is a little bit annoying, but nothing to be worried about. Fight. But uh, yeah, I'll get into this battle, and then we'll have to fight another brief siege of the uh, Tower of Safari um, itself. But uh, that should be fine. So I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Alright, so here we are on an interesting battlefield. So like I said, back and to the right. Now, I can actually send off my uh, eagle to go kill this general, potentially, but I don't really want to risk that, because they do have the potential to be able to kill my uh, my eagle there. So what we're going to do is pick a position where we can sort of get our artillery trained on these guys and have ourselves fire at them, but I don't want to route them off the battlefield too quickly. Uh, I do actually want them to get collected up and then uh, sort of kill them off while they're uh, on the battlefield, just because I don't want to have... Uh, a huge amount of them sort of reinforcing, but doesn't look like I'm going to have a great sight line to them unless I'm willing to fire at them, and uh, I do have that sort of question. Am I going to be able to sort of lure them forward otherwise? Uh, I think we probably can though, so let's go ahead and just not worry about whether or not I can. We will obey. Let's go ahead and get these guys spread out a bit. Now then, because it's ultimately the reinforcing armies that we have to kill here, not the Damn, initial one. Iberian. Because if that if that general, just that extra general, just runs off somewhere, it doesn't really make a difference to us. Um, but if a whole bunch of their other guys make it back into the fortress, then I'm kind of hooped. Alright. We're aiming probably to kill about a thousand of them is my, my stance there. Defender of Ulf-1. Alright. Yeah, we're not going to have line of sight with our artillery from back here, I don't think. And I don't think I'm going to be able to arc a shot to them anyway. So we probably need to move up a bit, but this should be actually fine for now. Uh, we'll see if they advance on us or if I have to advance to them. Alright. Could... T yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that this is... Probably worthwhile. I'm seeing them actually advancing towards me here, so... We'll see how this guy's doing, and I might be able to retreat here. There's a decent chance, though, that they will actually uh, come towards me, so... i try moving this way. Looks like uh, that arrow just randomly missed. I wonder if it's actually capable of killing someone on that kind of arc. What the hell? Oh, shit. Okay, well that's ungood. So the reinforcements should have taken to the field by now, but I don't know if they've actually gotten into position just yet. Looks like the good old uh, Flamespire Phoenix here running around being a chicken. Which is, I suppose, a good thing. The nice thing is, like, it does have a pretty beefy hit. It does hit pretty hard. It does also have a bit of physical resistance there, so... It is capable of surviving a decent amount, and it's actually pretty good for defeating these kinds of generals. Yeah, you can see the bar is green. Ow, took a big hit there, though. I'll use it to scout out where the enemy is after this, though. But there's a decent enough chance that they're going to be like, oh, well, I guess we have to try and help that general. Might have even been better for me to sort of wait until later before we did that. I might have to try and 50-50 this with the, uh... Ooh, wow, yeah, no, this guy's... This, this one's kicking my ass. And for some reason, I'm doing no damage here. All right, I need to get out. Looks like we got a hit there, though. Probably going to take another bow shot on the way. I probably should have just been cycle charging this, in all honesty. Ooh, that was a missed shot. I can cycle back in. No, here they come. Yeah, so they are actually coming for me. Fortunately, no Swordmasters this time. Oh, and here they come in Vengeance. Ouch. Okay. Great Eagle. I don't know if I'm going to be able to 
Yeah, I think I just need to get up for now. Alright. Well, other than that, though. Let's go ahead and rotate the army just a little bit here. Alright. Alright, so. Start firing at these archers back there. These guys need to back out. Yeah, Tyrion holding strong there. Don't think he needs any additional help. So the reason I'm starting to back up my spearmen is I don't want them to continue getting fired at since it is pretty obvious that my opponent isn't going to be able to get uh, anything past Tyrion there because he's just, you know, good at what he does. Um, they've also absorbed enough shots from the arrows to sort of make that be enough there. Um, so yeah, this has sort of forced their archers forward, which uh, in turn is going to put them in range of my archers, which is kind of what we're hoping for here. These guys all going down pretty quickly. It looks like one of these guys is a hero, I think, though. Or a garrison commander or something like that. Uh, I think we go after this again. Alright, so I think we've killed quite a lot of these guys at this point in time. Archers are starting to take some fire. Uh, I sent off our turkey on another suicide mission. Which, you know, fair enough, I suppose, but, um, still. Let's cycle charge this a little bit better this time. Alright, so we got the hidden. Let's get out. Oh, shit. Hoping that they would fire at Tyrion a little more than they are, but... One of the things I can do is sort of charge him forward at this point in time. Taking quite a lot of damage here from these archers. Let's go for these archers for a second here. Alright. Looks like that's uh, starting to really be a big hit to their morale. There we go. Alright, and I do want this guy to continue after them. I can chase after the uh, general later. I don't really need to right now. This is going to be a good battle to opt for the um, replenished numbers one, since we took a big beating here as far as most of my battles go. I don't usually take these many casualties. Alright. Eagle Claw only got 64 kills so far, but it's probably going to be pretty close to what we're going to get. Yeah, I don't even think that we're hitting really much here. Alright. How are you doing with this unit here? Killing the archer units is usually particularly good, but I think we're just going to hit end battle. Alright, and I'll see you guys back on the campaign map. Alright, so that worked out kind of okay. Um, yeah, 8%, that's a pretty decent replenishment rate considering how many troops I lost there. It, hopefully here, um, we'll be able to cause them to lose even more. Let's just check our uh, reinforcement range for them. So, yeah, I can't actually war this group, but they also can't reinforce it anyway, so... I'll think that we're going to have to just attack the Tower of Hoth as is. So, what do they got for garrison at this point in time? So, it was just the four units of archers. The four units of spearmen were completely wiped out. They're down to 13 units here, and they're fairly badly battered, but not as badly as I would really like. So, it's going to be a little bit tricky, but uh, we'll do the best that we can here. 
Attack. So yeah, uh, I could try to auto-resolve this one. I'll do an auto-resolve and then probably have to uh, undo the save, actually, just because this... Oh, actually. So continue siege. There um, is glory to be okay, won. now, what I might be able to do here, let's For check our queen. movement bar. It's mostly full. So... No mercy. I might be able to retreat, fight them, and then go back to this thing, but... Bring me mm, battle. Let's try and auto resolve and see what we get. Okay, so yeah, we didn't actually lose any units. That's good enough for me in this particular case. Um, got a decent amount of money for that as well, so that's nice. Another rank. Yeah, so I, I think we'll just go with this. This is fine. But uh, we'll go ahead and occupy the White Tower of Public. Have killed off a couple of their armies, which is really nice. And we'll be able to uh, have ourselves a jolly good time taking over the rest of uh, these guys because they've got really nothing left to stand in my way. We what a shame. Of order. Okay, so the White Tower, it's got the proper building for what I, all I care about. Um, bit of a shame about our unhappiness here, but nothing we can do about it. Uh, we could take Righteous Cause right now. Minus 10% upkeep for all of our forces. Not just his army. So that one is a pretty damn big boon. Um, in any event, we got our hero over here. Looks like we can go ahead and harass the High Veil. Smash it to ruin. Got a nice success. Perfect. And we've hit level 10. At level 10, you've got the ability to get knowledge of High Elf Affairs, which gives you plus uh, two relations with the uh, High Elves. Income from trade and income from entertainment buildings. Man is affairs, uh, so trades, ports, and um, gives you plus two diplomatic relations with Bretonians, Empire, and Southern Realm uh, Norskins. This is actually kind of the best one in some ways, but uh, in the early game, this one's a little bit safer. The reason is that, generally speaking, you don't really need to go attack the humans. So I'm going to actually get that before I get the other one, because it increases our income even a little bit more. Um, let's just check out what we got going on here. Uh, yeah, I think we can afford to do quite a lot now. Let's grab that. From uh, this city, we can go ahead and upgrade this to uh, Tier 3. Or top tier, rather, and we can go ahead and start upgrading these things. Kind of want to get Lothran up to cap, but it doesn't really matter too much. Kaldor's Repose, on the other hand. Uh, I've turned taxes off here because I want to get their happiness up a little bit. Uh, Angariel over here, though. Could upgrade Angariel. We've only got 2,000 left in the bank. We could probably just save the money that we've got here. Hmm. I don't know. I guess we could... Nah, I don't need to upgrade the Shrine of Azurian. Um, could upgrade the port here, though. The fact that that adds extra growth is pretty nice early on, so I might as well get that a bit faster. Okay, so it's mostly Kaldor's Repose, though, that needs uh, extra help. Alright, Vortex Ritual. So yeah, White Tower taken pretty easily. I'm pretty okay with that result there. Torfinu and Shadow Peak should uh, follow basically just one after the other sort of thing. The only problem is that Torfinu is particularly a uh, long march away, so it's going to take me a long ass time to sort of walk my way over there and then uh, take it, but once we do, that's fine. Be kind of interesting if, like, Hylos had some way to just cross mountains like other factions do, like either using the world roots or by using whatever the hell else, but. Failure, uh, looks like that's not against me though, so that's a f fine. Two mages having a slap fight outside the city of the High Vale. Alright. Now, one of the things I could opt to do is choose the guy that had, like, minus 25% to upkeep cost for a whole bunch of units. That actually is fine. It's just not as good as having the ones that have, like, big range bonuses or something like that, or big damage bonuses. Uh, I find, for my secondary army. Although, honestly, like, if I'm going for a slightly more expensive units, minus 25% is a big amount, so... I would definitely consider it under certain circumstances, but in particular, I find range is just super, super useful for uh, armies focusing around the... Um, Illyrian... Or, sorry, the uh, Lothan Seaguard. Alright, so we got Sunfang here. And that should actually be completed, completed, so... Uh, win the following battle. Oh, right, I have to do the, um, I have to do the stupid, uh, quest battle. So I'll teleport to that, I think. Um, Falls Anvil, Unhappy Populace. God damn it, I might have to, hmm. 
I might want to get rid of that, but we'll see. Uh, in any event, I can go ahead and probably grab up this army here and then teleport to... Or how do I... I forget how I teleport to. I think I go through here. So why can I not? Oh, it's because he's garrisoning a settlement. So if, as soon as I move him out towards Torfinu, I'll be able to do it. Um, oh, actually, I can reach Torfinu here. Okay, interesting. So... Um... I think I can take it and then still always am allowed to move out of the city. So that should be fine. Let's move you here first. See what we get. Just uh, 5,000 bucks, which is actually really good. But um, let's go ahead and dismantle that. Okay. Uh... Actually, yeah, no, this is, this is... Order must be maintained. Well, I, I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But in the meantime, let's just go ahead and put a pause here, because otherwise I can't undo it. All right, so in the end, I did decide to go ahead and do it, just because um, I figured that, like, it's also going to give me the random chance of getting something worse on the exploration, although I don't actually know if that's the case. So this will be an interesting test to find out. So sometimes you actually keep the negative malice, though, here, I've noticed, but it uh, looks like we don't here, which is nice. Um, so yeah, we're going to go pick this up. I think this might have re-rolled it, though. We'll find out. We'll find out. Nope. Okay. Uh, or it did, and it got the same result again. But either way, that's kind of an interesting thing to have a knowledge of. I should actually check around here, make sure there's no other treasures that I might want to grab with this character. And it definitely looks like not, so go ahead and kick you out. I should actually also check... Um, what sort of other characters we've got right now on uh, available roster, so... Let's go ahead and see if it's uh, reshuffled that. Dragon Willed still, Energetic still. I think that was the one we didn't want. I mean, the reload reduction time is actually pretty good, especially for artillery, but still not really my favorite. This one's kind of interesting. Resilient, uh, resistant is... Because it's 5% for every type for every unit, but it's not that great. Charmed is actually also really interesting, but uh, it's more for the single character and not for the whole army, and I prefer the large army scale bonuses. Um, Okay, so I think we go ahead and leave that for now. This place will be fine as far as public order goes for the time being, so I can sort of leave that be. Um, Shield against the, the hell's this? Oh, this is the teleport to icon. Right, right, right. So I don't really need to actually teleport to there right yet, but uh, let's go ahead and just take over Torfino. And there's their army at Shadow you. Peak, but... Um, yeah, I should be able to auto-resolve this I without any troubles here. Fight. Yep. Okay. 27, 28 losses. Okay, that's basically nothing. To the victor, the spoils. I could sack at this point in time for the extra money and, more importantly, the health, but I think we'll just occupy. Alright. So I think I should be able to exit, enter, and sort of exit kind of uh, back and forth through the city here. Uh, from here, but we'll find out. At this point in time, we can go ahead and cap out, uh, start taking Elven Scholar, or I could take uh, Sense of Urgency. Now, Sense of Urgency I don't think is actually that important. Um, I actually find that you just don't need it quite as badly uh, as Righteous Cause and Unifier. Um, now, the reason I'd never go for these ones is that it's minus one public order for all of these. You can actually make him really, really good at fighting, though, uh, if you've got the whole sort of thing there. Um, but it's not really that necessary. He's already really powerful, and that's minus four public order. So, like, minus four public order all provinces is kind of... Or m minus one all provinces, and then minus four or three in the local provinces is pretty bad. Um, the one thing that I could get, though, is a Ward of Loic. Uh The other thing I can sort of go for is Elven Scholar, though. That'll help me get more magic items and also finish our research faster. That's why I tend to like, actually. We actually need a few more before I can get Renowned and Feared anyway. Although I think I can get that next turn. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get him. Can I do it? I don't think I can do it from here either. Yeah, no. So, usually you can leave a city no matter what your movement's uh, left is. So I can go ahead and teleport to here. And we'll have an interesting battle on our hands, because this one's going to be a quest battle. 
So this one's kind of weird. Uh, they have got artillery, but uh, what we're going to try to do is uh, bait out these uh, Swordmasters of Hoeth, crush all three of them um, sort of in isolation of the rest of their stuff, focusing in particular on using our Eel Claw Bolt Thrower to do it. And of course, as well, we can also use the Flame Star Phoenix there and then deal with these guys won. sort of as we normally do. Although the Bolt Thrower is going to be an absolute righteous bitch Sunburn to deal with. Hungers. So anyway, let's get into that battle. All right, so after listening to a completely pointless uh, little thing there, we managed to get into the battle. Now, this does actually throw you straight away into the battle, uh, which is a little bit weird. Um, we're going to go ahead and start moving our archers, however. Uh, we're going to get our forces over this way. This as well, and these guys, we don't want them anywhere freaking near the Swordmasters of Hoth, because the Swordmasters of Hoth will chop through these guys like they are Swiss goddamn cheese. Um... So our lord over here um, can do sort of whatever. doesn't really matter that much. I kind of want this to get into position first. It does give you the opportunity to get your units into position because it does start you before deployment. Uh, you don't actually have a deployment phase here. A uh, little bit annoying, but, you know, it's the way it works here, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and actually move you guys more like sort of this, I guess. Now, the thing is, as soon as I advance to a certain point, their army is actually going to start advancing on me. Um, one of the things I actually might even want to do is move these guys up front. And the reason I might want to move these guys up front is because they're actually more important to hit the Swordmasters than the Archers are. Um, so, you know, that's just a slight consideration I've got there. Alright, so the Lore Masters have joined the battle against us. Enemy reinforcements, they actually come right out of the White Tower here. Alright, so, let's move our archers like this, move our spearmen sort of like this, kind of like this actually for now. So, the other forces over here are not moving just yet, and that's fine. Don't particularly want them to be moving towards me. And we want to be making sure that we're firing at the Swordmasters of Hoth and not at the Lore Masters, because the Lore Masters don't really take arrow damage. Um, like, they've got a missile block chance, so do the Swordmasters. But the important thing to remember about that particular sort of thing is that the Lore Masters, single target, they don't really take damage from that, since you're not going to be spreading that uh, hit across very many, many models there. The winds are turning. Forward. Striking ball. All right, so another two units of Swordmasters are going to head out of there. And they are real bad news, but should be able to kill the first wave with just these, uh, with what we've got here, basically. Not entirely sure what the uh, Lore Master is casting there, but since these units are dangerous against Tyrion, I do want to let these units sort of uh, get a bit closer so that maybe they get chewed up by the arrows a bit. It's like they're using some healing spells there. It's not going to help them too much here, although they're spamming out a couple of them rather than just one. Now, they might be using a regrowth. I don't think they get access to that, though, but I think they just have access to Earth's water or whatever. It doesn't look like that's going to help us help them that much here, so... I am using, like, all my ammunition for my bolt thrower, though. Switch our target over to here. So that unit is pretty much done. Let these guys take as much damage as they possibly can from our archer fire before Tyrion commits. Arrows are a little bit better at sort of honing in on sort of a single target there, so... And, of course, just crapping all over my own general, but, you know, whatever. All right, that one's dead. Have to keep a bit of an eye out on these guys. They sometimes start moving, so. These guys are up down to 42 men. Understood. All right, so the arrow shower should actually kill this guy off pretty quickly, but 
Still want to make sure. Mm, I can probably move back a little bit here. Alright, with him dead. And them running. Mm, I think we can start aiming a bit further back there. I want these guys to shatter rather than be broken. There, that one's shattered. Alright, so... I want to move these archers so they're no longer firing at those units, so they're basically, since they're all basically gone. Let me get this guy to come across here as well and uh, use this guy to literally just spew fire on these guys by a little bit. Okay, and I need to start saving these guys the shots. So those extra few arrows ought to do the trick there. Anyway. Our turkey is actually pretty wounded, so I don't want him getting into these fights anyhow. Alright. And after that's dealt with, we can go back to our regular scheduled programming. Oh, they're starting to move out their army as well here. Alright, so we can go ahead and uh, head towards there. Oh, shit. Uh, I think it's this unit they're firing at. Might be these two. Let's actually retreat a little bit. I want to get Tyrion out in front here. Now, I can actually get my turkey into those guys in just a little bit here. And killing that bolt thrower with my turkey would probably be a pretty good idea. We've already killed 90 swordmasters both with our uh, turkey. Pretty nice. Pretty good. Alright. The other thing is these swordmasters actually might rally with these kinds of numbers. And be a bit of a problem. Alright, well, I think we'll have to risk letting them come back in here. Although, admittedly, all the fire is coming into Tyrion, so he's tough enough that that doesn't really matter. Alright, and Tyrion should be getting the crap kicked out of him by this general pretty soon, Amon. I wonder if that's a StarCraft reference or what. Should be able to survive this, but if not, we're going to be probably still okay. Bird needs to get the hell out of there. Alright, let's move our archers up. Want them in the wider formation at this point in time. And our uh, things out of uh, arrows, or bolts, or whatever. Which is not ideal. Alright. Let's go take out this prince, I guess. Sort of folks firing them enough that I think we're going to win this arch duel pretty fast. Never like the, the issue isn't whether or not I beat them. The question is how quickly do I beat them in this sort of situation. Ooh, and we ran of arrows with the unit. Perfect timing on that. Alright, perfect. That worked out really well. Alright, and let's get back onto the uh, main map. Alright, so we managed to finish that one off there. We can go ahead and get these, but I don't really need it at this point in time. Could go for Ransom, honestly. Might as well get a little bit of extra money at this point in time. More money is better always at this point. And we've got access to Sunfang, and the really nice thing about this is the plus three morale to everyone. 
Um, let's go ahead and go into character details. I think that, yeah, I'm going to have that equipped by next turn. Um, so that's going to be really, really good. So next up, I can go ahead and upgrade another point into uh, Elven Scholar. And I think next one we get is going to be um, Renowned and Feared, so that's going to be really, really nice as well. Okay, Hero has not moved. We've got 12,000 in the bank, which is a pretty decent sum. Destruction. Successfully secured influence there. So we can go ahead and take our last level of secure influence uh, at this point in time as well. Pretty good stuff all around. Um, Shrine of Azirian, we can start upgrading things a bit en masse right now. Uh, might as well upgrade this. Tower of Lyceum. Actually, let's make sure that everything that we can upgrade in Kalidor is upgraded, other than this thing I don't really need right now. Okay, that's all good. Ooh, I need to get this up to tier 3 right, right away. In three turns, we'll be able to start working on a new army, which is great. Um, Tower of Lyceum, we're going to get the Salt up to level 3 as well, because that's going to be really good for us. Uh, okay, Port Elastor, we can't really do much around here yet, so could be a good idea just for me to keep holding on to what we've got for the time being. Let's go ahead and grab Militia Training, just in case. It's not really super important for me, but might as well start it and then switch it out next turn. Hmm. Alright, so Glittering Tower down here should be fairly defensible, I think. I don't think we're going to have too many problems with defending it, but uh, you never know. Could get that upgraded. It's a little bit more money. So the provinces that earn me more money are Kalidor, because they're adjacent to Lothurn, and uh, Eotain, and uh, later on um, Illyrian. So those all technically count as adjacent, so uh, focusing them to make them more profitable is generally speaking a good idea, but uh, I don't know. I think we just save money at this point in time, since there's nothing I can really realistically get that's going to be worth much, other than we'll get that, because, you know, might as well. Um... Beyond that, though, I don't have that much to do. Army here, getting nice and replenished. I might actually want to go back down here and demolish the um, this building for now. It doesn't actually really do much, is the thing. Uh, it does actually help me unlock cultural advancements, I suppose. Actually, uh, right, I need the Elven Court and the Shrine of Azurian. Um, do I not have the Elven Court? What the hell is this, then? Or, wait, where? What? God damn it. Do I need to have all the way up? Ah, crap, I need all the way up to there. Okay, so I guess we keep this until we've got this up to tier 4, which is going to take me a little while. Public order at plus 2, or growth is at plus 100. Alright, so it's going to take us a while before we get to 4 surplus growth in this province, but that's fine. In the meantime, let's go ahead and uh, hit next turn, and next turn we'll be able to take out Shadow Peak, probably on an auto resolve or something like that. I don't have to auto-resolve it, but it would probably save me a little bit of time. And this gets us a really nice gem resource, which is going to turn our industry up by a decent factor. So, after that, it looks like uh, what we have to sort of hope for is that Avresi is going to hold on long enough for me to take out Averlorn as well. Because we're probably going to go through them. And uh, after that, the only inner kingdom left is going to be Illyrian. And I might be able to confederate Illyrian, but it's generally speaking not super worthwhile confederating. Because it carries with it gigantic freaking penalties. Like, the penalties are just too big. They should have made them a little bit more moderate. Well, either way. Looks like a lot of these uh, Chaos followers just got wrecked by the uh, forces that they were called up against. So, that's interesting. Alright, so, let's go to where this was demolished, because that's the important thing right now. Make sure that we grab access to... Plaza. Um, Torfinu's strategic resource isn't as important right now until we've gotten... Uh, especially the iron, it's just not that important, but it's not oh, that important until we get to tier 3 anyway, since we won't be able to get any techs off of it. Kill them. Um, Shadow Peak over here, let's go attack it. No mercy! Uh, I th I'm just going to circle for right now. There is glory to be won. Uh, we'll figure out what we want to do as far as uh, how to go about that attack in just a little bit, but uh, for now that's fine. Um, what else can we do here, Port Elster? Let's grab that. 
So yeah, we should have much higher happiness just everywhere around. Kalidor is now in the positives, and I can tax them, and they'll still be in the positives. Um, Val's Anvil will be upgraded, and then we'll be able to get this to three, so that's even going to be a bit stronger there. So all of that all around, just good stuff. Um, I'm thinking that we leave this uh, population surplus here until we get up to tier four, but not 100% sure about that. We'll be growing a little bit faster as well because of the High Royal Lothurn, so... Probably okay there. We have also, of course, got the uh, Rebuild Lost Splendor, which is going to help out with that. Okay, so I think that we don't really need to keep uh, doing this other than the fact that this is good levels, so it's worth doing it just for that purpose. Smash it to ruin. All right. And, like, having this accumulate, is no there's nothing wrong with that, because once you start getting a few uh, generals or whatever, it does add up pretty quickly, the cost of uh, all that stuff. All right. So yeah, not gonna get that one. All right. Let's also go ahead and check out what generals we've got this turn, because it does seem to change every single turn, but uh, energetic still, resistant still, charmed still. So we got one that's efficient now. Yeah, I don't really want these guys still. This guy could be a really good option if I uh, finish my um, if I, in two turns, that's still the best option, then I'll take it, but it's still not my favorite. Um, at this point, I would almost like the trader one better, because then I sort of got a, one that will be a, a temporary kind of thing. Uh, Pirates heading towards Tor of Resi. You've got uh, Tor of Resi's army heading towards uh, Tor of Resi, so... Or maybe they're going to attack Sardanath. I don't know, actually. A lot of treasure up here, though. That's pretty good. Um, for now, though, not really planning on attacking them. I could actually get back at a general on uh, Vol's Anvil, though. Have it swoop around and collect all these things, but might as well not. Oop, shit, one second. Sorry about that, almost forgot to kick the ass of High Peak over here. Alright, so let's go finish off Safari here. Um, I'm thinking we can probably get away with an auto-resolve here, because we're not going to be getting into a fight right away here. And just on the barest bones of that, but, uh, you know worked out so it worked out did unfortunately kill off that extra general that was reinforcing but eh, it's fine all right so let's go ahead and occupy up their last city and that should be the last of safari got like ten thousand bucks in the bank which is pretty decent bit of a shame really safari is one of my favorite provinces in this game all right so we can get rid of this we don't need that um but the diamond mine will stay because that is going to actually be uh getting us a really good tech pretty sh pretty soon um even though we don't have it actually uh working for our favor just yet oops crap let's uh, go ahead and undo that renowned and feared all the way for this one now that we've got access to it all right so we're earning over five thousand a turn right now commandment is now available in the region as well so that's pretty good let's go ahead and get the growth and construction uh, decrease and uh, yeah should be good I could even save money by uh, building those buildings next turn but it doesn't really matter that much um, anyway yeah 10,000 in the bank it's pretty damn good a um, lot of turns before any of these are available again a bit unfortunate but you know whatever at your service yeah, I'm considering trying to confederate with these guys, but it's merciful. often a really bad idea, so... Especially they're not going to do it, because we're Let's stronger than it. them. Um, Asser, I bid you welcome. Let's do a non-aggression pact no. here. No? Hmm. Alright. So what I kind of want is to peace Can out with Tyrannoch right now, but... Though I hate you with every fiber of my being, I will hear you. Harsh. Jeez. All right, uh, let's talk to Illyrian here. I have heard tales of your kind. Please speak. I think not. All right, I can probably trade with them if I do a single point of um, putzing around here, but spending uh, influence on them. So we might want to do that for now. Um, Avalorn, I think we can probably safely declare war on though. Alright, it's only plus 15. It's not the best roll, but that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and check Avalorn, see if they've got any defensive alliances or anything like that. System? Looks like they're completely doing it alone, so I could, I can declare war on them fairly safely. Okay, perfect. So with uh, all of the one place completely cowed to us, um, 
Let's go ahead and hit next turn and uh, actually have a go at this being our next turn. So yeah, I'm a little bit worried about Vressi. Like, um, them remaining sort of available as a trade partner and a, a bit of an ally is a good thing, but uh, I don't want them to excel either. I don't want them to start pushing me back against the Knights. And Choose if Kane is getting attacked by carefully. scalings, then, you know, military access. I'm going to say no. I just don't want to have any agreements with them, just in case, for once we start uh, attacking them. Because I'm going to be attacking them, like, right away anyway, so. I wonder if these guys are going off to attack Toran Rock or something silly like that. They might just be trying to get back to the inner circle. Inner provinces or whatever. I might have to go and attack Illyrian, but I'm not really sure about that. Well, Darvresi is now getting softened up for an attack from the pirates, but uh, I think they'll probably be okay. I still don't get why the picture of three leaves is like an indication of um, horses. That seems a little bit weird to me, but whatever. And uh, yeah, I think that now that we've got this turn, let's just do a quick check of the generals, and then we'll call this the end of our turn for now. Or oh, the end of our, our end of our episode, rather. Okay, so yeah, they want me to recruit a lord, so this would be approximately an interesting time. Um, all right, so got energetic again, still resistance, charmed, and efficient. So yeah, it didn't change from last turn, unfortunately. Uh, I think I will wait a little bit before I get my general here. And we got like one more turn at the very least anyway, so it's not as though it really matters too much. So anyway, I think that's going to be our episode for today. Hope you found this one enjoyable, and of course, as always, hope to see you guys all next time.